Yo, this is a motherfucker who needs no introduction. You are watching Breaking Records Radio. So, no, and, and 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 that's one thing. Like you know, just as like an outsider looking in, is one thing I really appreciate about like just the whole movement you guys kind of have came like second. Like I don't even know because I'm not from out west, so I didn't watch everything get built. But like to me, I heard a snack first, and then I started hearing about your Mercules, your Pradas, your Junks. Mm -hmm. To me, on like here in Ontario, it's like you guys are kind of like the second wave, second generation, stomp down kind of representative. Um, but one thing I've noticed kind of deep within that click, well, I mean, Prada's is OG too, but I, he caught my radar in that period, you know, but either way, what I'm saying is like, I just noticed you guys are very interactive with your fans and appreciative. And it's one thing that I really um, have took heed to. And, you know, I've tried that just from watching your guys' examples, you know, I'm not a social media guy. I hate social media, but I have to be on there to keep a buzz up, to, to stay in algorithms, to 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 do what i do you know what i mean it, sure. it, it's what you have to do i hate it sure. but i for do sure. so um i've taken notes from you guys you know what i mean right. like okay okay like you know you, there is no level of being too cool to interact with your fans you got nah. it you know what i mean like that that's part of your job you know mm -hmm. and i think yeah for sure it's a healthy blueprint that i think a lot of artists could follow what you guys have kind of set up out there absolutely and especially like if like you know, if you make real music, so they say, you know, it's like uh, you have to interact. Like if you, if like I'm always talking about just being, you know, equal to others and whatnot. So it's like if I just start not having that kind of demeanor online, then it's like it kind of makes my music not make any sense. Where it's like, yeah, like yeah. you know, my whole music is just like treat everyone with respect, get it, level up, and um you know, personal stories and anecdotes and whatnot, but it's really about like unity and just being like power numbers and just like uh, building community and brotherhood type yeah. of shit. Right. That's like really the message of my music, to be honest. So it's like, if I yeah. don't preach that kind of thing online, then what the fuck, it, what, what am I saying in my music? I'm not really living by what I'm saying, you know? So then you become uh, Nas in verse two of blueprint. Can't y'all see that he's fake rap version of TD Jakes prophesizing on your TDs and tapes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that's, but, that's, um, that's facts. Word up. Before I take it back, I did want to ask one thing just off of uh, the strength of something you had mentioned there is just like, you know, your favorite things going out, going to shows, meeting and touching the people, getting to hear the stories. I was just curious, like, you know, with someone with, with music that is kind of so real and hits close to home for you, the average person, a lot of the music you make, you know, yeah. um, especially like joints, like social media and stuff, which we will get into. Um, but, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But um. I want to know, like, is there any uh, stories that fans have told you up to this point in your career that have really stood out? Like when they told you, like, yo, this song helped me through this or this, where you're just like, holy fuck. Like, bro, to be honest, I mean, just for the most recent one on uh, New Year's Eve, I got a crazy message. Big DM was like, um, I don't know, I, I posted it even. And I just this guy was like, I was literally about to take my life uh, tonight basically but uh your music has made me not want to and just like be strong so i was like i reposted i you know deleted his name or edited uh photoshopped his name out or whatever and just reposted and i was just like i'm glad this young man is still here in 2021 like he basically was thinking about ending it and didn't want to see 2021 so it's like i mean it's that's weird to digest that type of stuff but like I, i'm not like making music to save others i'm not i don't have like a god complex or anything but when that shit happens and people reach out to you, which it's, it's happened several times, you know, over the years, always people are like, yo, your music saved my life, this, that. I Actually, he was talking about overdosing. He wanted to do fentanyl is what he said. He was going to just end it all with a oh, huge wow. fentanyl batch. And then he decided not to because my music made him feel like he could, uh, you know, feel strength. And um, so he didn't do it and he's still alive today. And I did. And um, yeah, man, we chopped it up just on the DMs. And I just wished him like, you know, if there's anything I can do, blah, blah, blah. So again, interacting and just if music helps, I'm here for you and that's blessed. But yeah, people have told me they've, you know, stopped themselves from committing suicide from um, listening to my music or having a catalog of mine and just, you know, going through it again, because my music is kind of like encouraging and like, yo, shit's mad dark sometimes, but there's always a little sliver of light. Look at the light as opposed to all the darkness around it. That's really like a metaphor for like most of my catalog. So. Yeah. And people are when they align with that it's kind of dope and um so it's like word you know <laughs> so th those are kind of the heaviest things um 
that have been said to me. So it's like, I, it doesn't really get less heavy than that. Or like one no. day named his kid after me too. It's like my kid's named Ian. Like, you know, at first I was like, he's like, yo, I named my kid after you. I'm like, you called your kid junk? He's like, no, you're real <laughs> named Ian. I'm like, oh, we're... <laughs> I'm like, don't ever name your kid that. That's terrible. He's like, no. <laughs> so, oh, shit. But yeah, I guess that music has an impact, you know? But it is what it is, man. So, but the, there's some beautiful no. things. There's some beautiful stories. Too many to name, but those definitely are a couple little examples for sure. 